Welcome back to Bafundi Academy. I'm your teacher, Roger Sotom. Now we are going to learn a new topic called total value. Remember, we have only done two lessons. The first lesson we learned about numbers, okay? Then the last lesson we learned about place value. So today we introduce another value <laughs> which is different and this is called total value. Okay? So these are going to be our objectives that at the end of the class you should be able to define or able to explain to somebody what a total value is. After you have logged out of Bafunda Academy then your mom asks you, hey, Jerry, what is total value? You should be able to say total value is this and this. The second objective, you should be able to determine, okay, total value of digits in different numbers, just as we did for place value. Now, let's say we are using the same example that we did, you know, use in the last lesson. So you have in a family, okay, I love black, so let me choose black. So we have a family. And in this family, you have a father, you have a father, then you have a mother, then you have firstborn, firstborn, secondborn, thirdborn, like that, okay? It happens that your father has a different weight from your mother. Now, in Bafunde Academy, we have different teachers. Now. You will realize that teacher Tom probably weighs 65 kg. Okay. Then teacher Mora will weigh 95 kg or 80 kg. So when we want to determine total value, please remember this analogy. Okay. So we may have a firstborn who weighs only, uh, let me choose another color. We'll have a firstborn who weighs, okay, let's say 50 kg. Then because a second born eats too much, or because of genetic predisposition, he weighs or she weighs 60 kg. Then a third born, because they are being, you know, treated well, they weigh 80 kg. So you'll find that regardless of who is the first born, they have different weight, and the weight of the first born may be lower. So using this analogy, I will want to go ahead and define total value, okay? as the weight, the weight that a particular digit, that a particular digit carries in a given number. So don't worry if it's big, you know, big English, but I've tried to make it simple that Total value is the weight. So this weight is what we have to define. So let's define. Let's use an example. Let's say we have you no know, a number like uh, you no know, three hundred and fifty and, and forty. Example, okay, three hundred and forty. Now we know from our last lesson that this is ones as a place value. This one we have tens. And this we have hundreds. Okay? And you can write ones in the form of one. You can write tens in the form of ten. You can write hundreds in the form of hundreds. Now, the total value, okay, of a number is that particular number multiplied by its place value. Interesting. Now, let's get the, you know, the total value TV of zero. It will be zero times ones. Okay, as it equals to zero. What is the total value of four? TV of four is equals to, okay, total value of four is equals to, we take the value of four, which is four, we multiply it by the place value, which is 10. The answer is equals to, 40. So what is the uh, total value of 3? The total value of 3 is equals to 3 
multiplied by you know the the the, the place value which is a hundred. So what is the total value of three? It is three hundred. Interesting. Now, given any number, even if it's big, we should be able to take our time to cal cal calculate the total value. Now, let's use another example. Okay? You know, we said we need to practice, 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 practice. So, let's say an, uh, a number like 7019207. Uh, uh, I will put, you know, the, the, I almost wrote my phone number. Okay, just omitting zero. So we'll put the commas. So this number is 70,192,807. So if we are asked to calculate, you know, the total value of any number. For seven, the total value of seven, TV of seven is equals to seven times one. Answer is equals to seven. The total value of zero is equals to zero times tens because that will give us zero because any number multiplied by zero gives us zero the total value of eight will be eight times hundreds because the place value is hundreds okay so that will be zero so that will give us 800 okay the place value of two is two i mean the total value of two is two times thousands and that will give us 2,000. The total value of 9 is equals to 9 times 10,000 because 10,000 is, is the place value and it will give us 90,000. Okay? So what is the total value of 1? We just write 1 there and then you say total value of 1 is 1 times hundreds of thousands. So that will give us uh, 100 okay that will give us 100,000 perfect so what is the total value of zero it will be zero another zero is zero okay times 1 million and this will be zero any number however big it is it will give us zero if we multiply by zero now we have seven the total value of seven it will be, let me change another color, it will be 7 okay, times 10 or million, because 10 million, because the place value of 7 here is tens of millions, and the answer is equals to 70 million. So, if you do this like, if you do math like this, and somebody asks you, what is the place value of 9? What is the place value of 9? The place value of 9 will be 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, and this is 100s of, okay? Here we have 1000s, here we have 10s of 1000s. So the total value, place value of 9 is equals to 10s of 1000s, but its total value is equals to 9 times 10 of 1,000, which is 90,000, and the answer is here. So the answer will be 90,000. Okay. I hope that you have understood the concept of place value and total value. Okay. So you can, you know, find in a paper, you are given a very interesting number, let's say 7,718, uh, 7, uh, and then you are asked what is the you know, place value of 7. The place value is, PV is hundreds. And then you are asked, what is the total value? The total value is 700. You just take the digit which is 7, you multiply by its place value, and you have the answer. So thank you for, you know, following up on this lesson. Now, in the next lesson, we start, you know, writing words, okay, in symbols. Like, you know, when I was saying, you know, 6,718, how do we write them in words? And we learn the importance of that. So for all that, see you in the next lesson.